Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tinder router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. In this case, use a thin object to press it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. the other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a password. Usually it is admin or password. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. So at the very beginning to launch the setup wizard, click the start button. The router will try to detect your connection type automatically. If it fails to detect it, on the next page, you'll need to select your connection type manually. You can find all this information in your contract with the internet provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this option. It's the most common one. Click the next button. Come up with a name for your future Wi-Fi network.
Now create a password. The password must be at least eight characters long. On this page, you also need to create a password for logging into the router's admin panel. Tick this checkbox to set the Wi-Fi password as the login password of the admin account, or create a separate password. The router admin password must be at least five characters long. Click the Next button. Wait a minute for the settings to take effect. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network using the new credentials. Next, you need to reboot the router. If you haven't been redirected to the router's main menu, click the More button. Here, you can change the language of the router interface. I'll keep it in English. Go to the System Settings menu. Then choose Reboot and Reset. And click the Reboot button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully powers on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If there's no internet connection, you need to try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go again to the system settings menu. Then open WAN settings. Here in the MAC address field, select clone local MAC address. Save the settings. Now you need to reboot the router again. Wait a couple of minutes for it to fully power on. Now check if the internet is working, just try googling something. If there's still no internet at this point, call your internet provider. They will tell you exactly what connection type you have and what other settings you need to apply. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.